Hey, this is Graham English. Welcome to this special edition of Logic Studio Training. This is for all the newbies who are about to install Logic Studio for the very first time. This file before you install Logic Studio will only be relevant if you are installing and you have Logic 7 or Logic Express already installed and you're upgrading or something like that. So you will want to read that. Obviously, the very first thing we want to do is install Logic Studio. Now I'll save you the boring part of everything uh, that's going to happen next, but it makes sense to check out everything this includes. And it's quite a lot of software, uh, quite a large library, and I'll explain how we can maybe make it smaller if you need to, or exactly what gets installed in uh, and the relative size of each thing. So you just want to keep on going and read these uh, you know, you want to read this stuff, but if you're like me, you will ignore that advice. And I will not share my serial number with you, so I'll be back in a second. Now I'm back, and we come to the actual custom install window where we can choose what we want to install. So we have Logic Pro, Soundtrack Pro, Main Stage, Wave Burner. Uh, compressor Upgrade, Logic Studio Content, so here we have our Logic Studio Surround Impulse Responses, our Jam Packs, and you can see that comes with Jam Pack 1, Remix Tools, Rhythm Section, Orchestral, World Music. It does not come with the vocal one, unfortunately. Uh, sound Effects, we can choose the Sound Effects, Music Beds, Music Loops. Oh, I'm going to install everything. This is a brand new computer, 320 gigs. I'm pretty excited about that. Extreme Analog, Extreme Digital, GarageBand Content, Logic Pro 7 Legacy. Uh, I'm not going to need to worry about that. Tools, Impulse Response Utility. Want that. And then let's look at the hardware support. If you had any of this stuff, you would want to put that in. But since I don't, I will not. And then we'll go on. And it's important to check out my time right now. It's approximately 3 p.m. And um, I'll probably see you back here at around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Actually, I'm going to let a lot of this install while I go run errands because uh, that's exactly how, you know, it's going to take a long time. So prepare, you know, have a beer, a movie, whatever it is that you need to do to bide your time as this installs. Additional installation disks. So you need all your disks. I do have them ready. I'm going to go. See you uh, down the road. Uh, this is worthy of a screen capture right here. Installing EXS 24 samples, 15% complete, 4 hours and 26 minutes left to go. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long night. Alright, before I leave the house and let this run, I'll point out that it now says tw 2 hours and 46 minutes and what about a half hour has passed, so it's not actually accurate. What I think Apple's doing is they're they're making it, they're telling you it's going to be a lot longer than it is, so when it actually is short, you'll be really happy. I think their engineers thought of that, and they just want you to feel good. So thank them. All right, and we're back, and notice the time, 721, and we started this at just a little bit before 3, so... Did it take four hours and, you know, four and a half hours? No, it didn't, because I actually left the house for a couple hours, and... I left right be right after I started one of the discs, and I was gone for a couple, maybe an hour and a half, came back and, and continued. So it doesn't take that long, but um, I went and got my hair cut, and while I was there, there was a camera crew shooting a uh, an episode of Animal Planet. It's a famous salon here in South Boston, and so I might be on TV. So life does happen while you're insta installing Logic Studio. Um, and here I am at the install succeeded screen and we can just close this out and what do you know we're good to go now we can launch logic so let's uh, go ahead and do that I'm gonna use Quicksilver type logic and here it is it's in your applications folder we will start logic pro and this is exactly what it's going to look like 
And while it's launching, there was another disk that I did not install. It doesn't ask you to install, and that's the demo content. Now, the demo content, I recommend, if you have the room, putting it on there and checking it out because there's some really good recordings on there, and you can start to see how it does it, you know, and, and they sound great. So I recommend checking it out. Now, I'm going to register later and let it do its thing. And this is exactly what yours will look like. And I've gone ahead and you know set up my 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 uh, audio interface. So hopefully you'll have done that first. So it's going to scan for audio units. These are your effects and audio instruments that you might have already installed. I don't believe I have anything installed on this except for GarageBand. So it's going to go ahead and look. And no, it, I actually do have a couple on there. Anyway. While it's installing those, I do have my sound card ready to go. And that's the only thing you need to do is just follow the directions of your sound card. You shouldn't need to do anything else. And 